Why was I ever born? How's it going? Good, you? You know how it is. I'm glad you guys could put away your differences to be with your mother. Anything for you. You'd know I'd do anything for family, unlike some people. I know you would, and you've been so understanding through everything. How's the promotion going? Good. It was stressful at first and way too much responsibility, but the money's great. How's your job, sis? Fine. You know what? I don't need this. I don't owe you guys anything. They blame me for the divorce. They blame me for everything. Got your cup. What's on your shirt? Funny story. Um, it's not what it looks like. It's a latte. Can I use your washroom? I don't know. Can you? Just kidding. Yeah, you can. But hurry. We're starting our game soon. Hey guys. Sorry, I'm late. You suck. Haha. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, hey. That's okay. Sit down. Wait, grab those candies first. You brought your own dice, right? What? Kidding, calm down. Just try not to spill anything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sort of busy at the moment. What time? Oh, one sec, let me check. Uh, hey guys, let's, let's go get some food. Aw, but I was winning. Yeah, I guess. I have nothing better to do anyways. I'm on my way. Come on, hurry up. I'm gonna get some food. Thanks for coming. We should do this again sometime. Or not. Yay, you're here! Mom! Oh, hey, come on in. Thanks for coming on such short notice. But I have to run really quick. Now, you make sure you're on your best behavior, okay? Alright, bye! So what do you want to do? Can we go to the park? Alright. Yay! Come and push me! Alright, I'll do my best. Do you want to play grounders with me? You want me to play with you? Yeah, but you're it. One, two, ten. Here I come. Na 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 boo boo, you can't catch me. Ah, uh, I got 
gotcha. Fine, it's my turn. Well, it's getting late and your mom's gonna be home soon, so we better get going. No fair. Why can't we stay? I don't wanna go. I'm sorry, but it's not up to me. I wish I could. Come on. I'm sorry, little man, but maybe I'll come back tomorrow and we can hang out. Promise? I promise. Uh, well, about time you guys got back. I've been home for 20 minutes. Sorry, we were at the park and we lost track of time. Uh, well, good thing you were just volunteering to watch him. He was supposed to be in bed 20 minutes ago. Good thing this isn't a real job. Because that stuff does not fly at a real job. No buts, young man. Now you go upstairs and get ready for bed, and I will deal with you later. And as for you, I expected a lot more from you. Look, I'm sorry. You know what? I don't want to hear it. Just leave. Leave! Why was I ever born? Boo. Boo! Who are you? I'm your best and worst nightmare. Oh my god, this has to be a dream. This is no dream. I got something really important to show you. What are you gonna show me? Some more drugs? Because this has got to be a bad trip. No, no drugs. I'm gonna show you once and for all what life would be like if you were never born. Trust me. Honey, can you pass the salt? So Brittany, tell us about your promotion. It's great. Stressful at first, but the pay is wonderful. Dad, what are you doing here? Shh, they can't hear you. Just listen. Well, I remember my first promotion and it was quite stressful. Right here? Oh yeah, that was right before Christmas time. It was exciting to have so much money to buy presents with, but you were in such an awful mood all the time. Hello? This has got to be a dream. My parents haven't gotten along in years. They can't hear you. Like I said, this is what life would be like if you were never born. Oh my god. My parents are still together without me here. Here, Amber, you do it. What was that? <gasps> My angel! How could you? Who cares about some stupid angel anyway? I do! Did you not just hear what I said? No, as usual, I was trying to drown out your insufferable nagging. You prick! You always think you're right. No, I don't. You do. I really was. That was one of the hardest years we had together. <laughs> I remember that Christmas. It was our last Christmas together before the divorce. It was my fault. Why would you show me this? Yeah. To make me feel worse? No, I'm sorry. I mean, <sighs> there are people in this world who need you. Like your friends. They gotta need you. Where are we? <laughs> you took me to see my friends? They look bored without me. Well, duh, but let's just watch. You guys are seriously like the best. Why? It's not because you guys buy me things. I love you like a family, the three musketeers. Aww. Oh, shut up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's so fake. She. She's just trying to make up for me. 
I mean, we, we hung out all the time. We, uh, we went to the park sometimes, and I, I don't know. You're so right. It's obviously fake. They're miserable inside. Did you guys notice that Sarah chick that came and sat at our table on Friday? Oh my god, yes. Remember that? Yeah, she was all quiet. I hate people that are like that. She came and sat at our table and was like antisocial and all that. I hate that. Are you freaking kidding me? And you! What the hell were you thinking bringing me here? Jeez, there has got to be someone this girl impacts. And y'all were a great help. Thanks. that. Where did you learn to run so fast? Leave me alone. You said it to get better, but all you've done is proven that I don't matter to anyone. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't think this would happen. I'll leave you alone now. It's not like anyone wants to play with you anyway. Go away. Never come back. Or, or else you'll get a knuckle sandwich. Leave him alone. Leave! Did you hear me? Go! See? You do impact someone's life. For the better. And maybe if you acted like that all the time, other people would see you as their hero too. Maybe she's right. It was just a dream. Even so, I can't live like this anymore. I need a change. You can have all the friends in the world and still feel lonely. You can have the most family dinners in the world and feel completely orphaned. But then, the most amazing thing is, you can have one six-year-old that can make it all okay. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, nice day for a walk. Sorry I'm late. It's alright. So how have you been since we last talked? Last time you were here we were talking about your relationships. Yeah, that's, that's right. Well? Well, about a week ago I realized no one really cares about me. Not my friends or my family. Amber, let me finish. I blamed them for hating me. Accused my mom for blaming me for the divorce. I had a bad day. A really bad day. I got low. Is there something you need to tell me, Amber? I had a dream. A dream? Yeah, you were there. You showed me a world without me. 
What was the world like without you? It was better, actually. Oh? Why do you think the world would be better without you? That's not all. The little boy I babysit was bullied and lonely without me. I see. Yeah, so over this past week I've been trying to improve. What have you done to improve? Well, I applied for a real job. Very good, Amber. And I hung out with my friends, and they actually seemed to notice me when I talked. Of course they did, Amber. People are meant to be heard. Yeah, that. Anyways, I took the boy I babysit, Reese, to go and get ice cream. And what about your family? Oh, I haven't spoken to my mother. Loretta! Sit down. I'm glad you two could put aside your differences and be here today. 